up everybody hungry mimic here and welcome to alan wake's american nightmare now this game came out originally as a dlc to the alan wake that was on ps3 but i never played it i did play alan wake and i beat it it was a really great game kind of a weird ending but now i'm back to try this out it it looked pretty good it came out on game pass like today or the other day and I, I figured why not i might as well try it i actually didn't know that you could play this without having alan wake downloaded that makes sense because it was a dlc but i guess they made it like a standalone thing now and uh yeah we're gonna get right into it it's gonna say that i i do have a continue but i really don't i just did it for the you know for the thumbnail so we're gonna be starting a new story because that's where i'm at i didn't even have the sound on so i don't even know what was being said or anything like that so we're gonna start a new story yes let's overwrite this oh hold up let's put some uh Let's put some subtitles on. Ha ha. <laughs> Barry, I remember him. <laughs> Written by Alan Wake. He is, champion of light. he is part of a conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient and eternal. That's cool that they got the actual character model. The herald of darkness. <laughs> His evil doppelganger. Known only as Mr. Scratch. Maybe, but what are you gonna do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. This is like the actual voice actor, too. That's right. This is pretty cool. I wonder if they had this in the original. been brutally spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality did i love it's that going to fight a decisive battle in night springs i love that twilight zone-esque uh narration there okay yeah we don't want it on the right side because left-handed gotta be on the left side okay pick up flashlight our Weapon against the darkness. Mr. Flashlight. Yep, I remember this. Also, Ron Sterling. That's who I'm thinking of. The, uh, the creator of the Twilight Zone, the old one from 1960. Not the uh, the new Jordan Peele adaptation, which was also all right, I thought. Some of the episodes were meh, but it's, it's bound to happen. And I think I actually beat this game like Two or three times. Uh, 
Honestly. It's gonna be like that again, huh? Okay. Big, big guy. Oh, he takes more hits. Wow, that was all headshots, too. Come on, stay at the left side. All right, so we gotta leave the canyon. Life. The man was a writer. He still practices that art, forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here have scattered the pages he has written. Ah, uh, more scattered pages. So I did hear that this actually ties into the the game Control's universe, which I I played a little bit of Control, but I I couldn't actually really get into it, which is weird. But I heard that this is kind of in the same universe. I don't know how, but my name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. I didn't become one overnight. Like most writers, I struggled with it. A short story here, an article there. Then I got lucky and spent a year as a staff writer on the Night Springs TV show. It wasn't the great American novel of my fantasies, but it taught me discipline and craft, and the difference between wanting to be a writer and actually writing. Hmm. That is true. I also like to write. I actually have a horror blog. What's horror stories you can check out if you join the discord I have it i have a link to it in there but yeah anyway let's continue he just loves to like float i wonder if there's coffee mugs are there coffee mugs why does he keep going to the right side dude stay to the left come on like, I remember there was collectibles. Oh, man. This is going to get annoying. It's like every time the camera shifts. All right. I, I don't see anything. Jump. All right. The lights of the motel promise safety. The man senses that the solution to his predicament. I don't know why I keep doing that. There. Hmm. Narration. Right, so we got to get to that motel. I haven't gone over here. Somewhere within the earth, space itself has been pierced, and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. He knows he must put an end to this madness. Hmm. All right. Uh, do we have to actually get them? Okay. So we can't. Okay. So let's run. Run away. Yeah, no shit, you can't stay here. You gotta go, man. Times like these, you just gotta book it. Hope for the best. Come on, man. Not the time to get winded. The safe haven formed by bright light heals you. Yep, I remember that. Okay. So... I'm probably going to miss a ton of collectibles in here, and I'm sorry. But this is totally blind, so. Take a little midnight jog. Ooh, flare. Ooh, ammo. I wonder if that's like in case you didn't run away from those guys. So we hear there's a page or something. Screw the motel right now. We need these story pages.
Ooh, we, do we miss a couple? Is that how it works? I thought on the other one, it was like divided into levels. So like, if you missed one in a certain level, you knew it. But maybe this one is just kind of all over the place. To change reality, you nudge it into the right direction. Your version of it is there, waiting. It wants to come true. All you need to do is help it achieve its potential. The devil is in the details. You change the details of the scene to match those on the page. If you get the details right, if you achieve that critical mass, the shift will come, and the rest of your new reality overrides the existing paradigm. The lie, no matter how outrageous, is now the truth. That's actually pretty good writing tips right there. It is true. It's all true. All right, so can we go anywhere else or do we got to head back? I'm probably doing this for nothing. There's probably not even coffee thermoses in this. Screw it. We're going back. Oh, I see a flicker of something. Yes, there's a flicker of something. What the heck is this? Unlock. Wait, so you need to collect pages to unlock weapons? Okay, that's that's a new thing. Oh, there's another page. Two pages? Oh, that's a TV. Right, let's go. Pages and instincts. When I arrive, the clarity of vision I have now may disappear. I've made my plans. I prepared for this. But I know the transition from the dark place will be hard on me. And not just physically. It may affect my mind, my memory. These pages should help me remember and focus. That's worked for me before. Even if that fails, I think I will be able to trust my instincts. I'm navigating my own story. I'm hoping I'll know where to go and what to do, even if the details elude me. <laughs> All right. So it almost seems like he's still trapped in that, that lake house place. Oh, hell. This isn't going to be good. Is this on? How can you tell? I'm sorry, I'm not very good with gadgets. more like it. I'll be right with you. I just gotta do this one thing. I like it quiet. Who is that? It looks almost like it's me. Am I so hell bent on ruining your life? You're cramping my style. You've got money, fame, everything you could want, but you don't know what to do with it. I do. Hmm. I'm getting all the things you never had the balls to go for. Having more fun too. <laughs> do you know the real difference between us? I'm not afraid to be the center of attention. This poor slob's just collateral damage. Oh, messages. I mean, made some information out of him earlier. But this part? This is just for kicks. So he's doing this in my body? And I'm, am I like trapped in the, uh, the sunken place or something? Like he's just kind of taking over my life on the surface. That would not be good. Writer turned murderer. Dear Lord. All right. 
Anyway. I don't I don't think there's anything else out here. But I said that the last time and then we found some stuff, so I, I don't know. I do like to do this though when I play video games. So sorry if you're if you guys are watching and you're like, damn, he just keeps running around like aimlessly. Let's get to the game, man. Sorry, I like to collect everything. Everything I can. All right. I mean, there could there's so much out here. If there could be another page. What is this building? Have we gone here? Ah, oh, there is another page. Ta-da. All right, let's see what this one has to say. Too many the legs. Of webbing glistened in the beam of my flashlight, fine, almost ethereal. They were fresh and right in my path. I held my breath and waited, ear straining. Nothing. I moved on, concentrating on the task at hand. Just get what I was looking for, then leave. That's all I keep telling myself. For a moment, I actually thought it might be as simple as that. Then I heard too many legs skittering across the ground. Actually, sir, it's I kept telling myself, not I keep telling myself. You heard it too. Alright. So let's continue. That was kind of random. Anything? Oh, what's that? Flares? Ah, the diner. Can we go in here right now? Or is, are we supposed to go? Oh, gosh, they're coming for me. Can I go in here? Okay, they stopped, but it's locked. Yeah, it's locked. Alrighty, I guess we're not going here. Let's head back to the motel. Wait. There's something shiny. Shiny in the darkness. Uh, this like oil driller looking thing. All right, what is this? Hunting Mr. Mr. Scratch. It's a twisted copy of me. Powerful and dangerous. But I know I can fight him. I don't think anybody else can. They don't understand what he is, what he represents, or that all the horrible things he does here are almost insignificant compared to what he will unleash on Earth given the chance. But I've survived the dark place, and it has taught me things. How to cope, how to stay sane when the world goes crazy. He's two steps ahead of me, but I can find him, and I believe I can stop him. Of course you can. You're Alan freaking Wake. You can stop anything. Okay, so this is where I came from. All right, came full circle. I think let's go in now. Because I think that's everything. Wait, what is that over there? Is that another one? Is there something over here? Or is that my eyes tricking me? Okay, it's a freaking gas pump. Well, here you are, about to enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the most. Hey, any of you guys remember Old Gods of Asgard? <laughs> Man, I actually saw them twice back in the 70s. I was just a kid then, but my dad worked at this club, and he'd sneak me in to see bands all the time, you know. Talk about an education. Anyway, great band, couple of great albums, solid fan base, and then they kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Well, now, almost four decades later, they're making a comeback. 
And let me tell you, these boys have seen a lot of road. They're some serious rock and roll veterans, because they weren't too young even back in the day. Well, now I've got Odin and Tor Anderson, two of the original old gods, in the studio with me, along with their manager, Barry Wheeler. Nice to have you guys here. Oh, hey, great to be here, Eddie. Yeah, hey. Hello. Now, boys, let me just come around and say this, all right? Spring chickens, you ain't. <laughs> I mean, you guys, you make the stones look young. <laughs> All right, I don't know if we have to listen to that, but I just kind of defaulted to my my podcast listening. There for a second, I listen to a lot of podcasts, mostly horror, comedy, anything really. It's like it's like the new radio, pretty much. Just jump in front of all the doors, Alan. Don't don't walk in. Okay, so th I'm guessing they're going to be open doors if I can actually go inside. No, I don't want you, music. Get out of here. Oh, they're talking about he disappeared. Well, okay. at least Barry landed on his feet. There. Turn that down. You remember me, right? Emma? Emma Sloan? I think you might have something that belongs to Meg. Really? A typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, what's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm going to deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. Avatar Ward. Oh snap! I haven't actually, I haven't actually customized my avatar, and I don't know how how many how many years. Okay, so let's get this. Oh, nail gun. Can I just like put it there? I don't know what's better, the nail gun or that. Yeah, screw it. We'll, we'll just go. The champion of light recognizes the page he got from the woman. It is a weapon of his own design, custom engineered to destroy the dark portal. If he recreates the conditions of the page, all right, this way will be unleashed. We gotta head toward the golden stars, and this is telling me exactly what I'm saying. Locations of ammo boxes and safe havens are also known as known as icons. Blinking question marks indicate a hidden manuscript page. All right, let's go get these these items of interest. Holy moly. I actually don't know if... Oh, wow. I'm going through those pretty quick. Ah, uh, what was the dodge? I thought that was dodge. Oh, it's... The other way, right? It's like you dodge while you're aiming or something. I don't remember. All right. Got those guys that were. Pick up the battery. That's one thing down. Two more to go. Can we just like sprint across this? 
Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's run. Alright, what what's this? Oh, there's a freaking page over here. Let's go. Rewriting reality. Granite is softer, more adaptable than we think. Under correct conditions, you can reshape it, turn it into almost anything you want. When it happens, almost nobody notices. It's not that we forget, it's that after the change, there's nothing to remember. Only those who have been directly touched by the powers that can shift reality are aware of the changes. Many are driven mad by it. Others can cope. I'm one of those people. And I know how to wield that power to rewrite reality. Hmm. So I wonder if this kind of ties into control. Because some people just can't, can't take it. Interesting. Okay. I'm assuming this is like it's not on the table. What? We gotta go around. Or what the? The enemy tears itself in two to avoid what? the light. It becomes weaker, but more numerous. Such as the visit of horror. What the heck? Dude, how do I like Oh, I didn't want to do that. Playing this game like a scrub. That was just messed up. All right, where's? Let me let me check. Where is it? Where the heck is the? Oh, it's X. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. That swift dodge. Oh, he just. Juke some. Carbine rifle, nice. Oh, so this is gonna take up the, the extra firepower. Get the shot. Pick up CD, okay. One more to go. Submachine gun, yes. How much ammo do I actually have that? 107 left? No, alright. Doing pretty good. Last one. How many pages do we have? Do we have enough to unlock that other crate that was in the... in the sewer? Wait, we didn't the oil, read this one? The wheel had been jammed in place and turned until the oil gurgled and flowed thick and flammable. The warning lights were blinking in a fast rhythm, bright and steady, powered by the battery. The Kasabian CD was playing in the boombox, all distorted guitars and intense beat. High above, some piece of orbital junk or another collided with the satellite, knocking it radically off course. Trailing debris, it screamed down from the skies at an impossibly steep angle. All that high-tech engineering reduced to nothing more than a bullet that would destroy whatever it hit. All right. So yeah, I got one, two, three. It says seven on the top. Okay. So I don't have enough. Need three more. Three more pages. I wonder if they're all in this area. Like, am I going to have to go search way the hell out there in the middle of nowhere? Wait, where is it? Uh, oh! Oh, it 
it's uh I got the carbine now, I forgot. I also forgot that your battery charges up if you stop aiming. I, okay, the sound's dying up. It's like, no, there's more? Yeah. Valve. That's everything. That's everything. Found the battery, but it is empty. It will need to be recharged. Of course. Ain't that how it always is? Nothing? Right, let's go back. Let's head back. Oh, what is that? There's a couple of flares. Haven't used like any of them yet, but it's always good. Have something on hand. Yes, this one. Can I go through? Come on. There you go. All right. And we're back. Need this battery charged. No problem. No problemo. There you go. Thanks. Not sure what's going to happen next. Listen, I don't know what's going to happen exactly when I do this. My memory's a little hazy. I don't even know what that means. All I'm saying is you don't want to come anywhere near the oil field, all right? This guy's crazy. In the middle of highly flammable materials. Great. I'll do my best to contain it. Just please don't turn out to be some kind of crazy terrorist guy, okay? Here we go. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Wish me luck. Wait a sec. I want to ask you about something first. What did you mean with that my memories are a little hazy? I had a pretty rough time coming here. It was like being caught in a tsunami. I blacked out for a while. It's hard to explain. There's a, a barrier of sorts that I had to break through. I was lucky to make it here with my wits as intact as they are. So you might have brain damage. You're about to do great things with a magic piece of paper, and you came here from another dimension? No, I'm from New York. I, I was just visiting another dimension. Oh, yeah, okay. My okay. Oh, I'm from New York. Brooklyn. Yeah, so if you don't know, me saying Brooklyn is actually an inside joke from one of my streams. So if you don't get it, you don't get it. All right, so let's go. Remember to restock at the ammo box. I still have 16, 17. I'm, I'll be fine. I don't need that much ammo. Pump action shotgun. Hmm, I don't know. I think I'll stick with the carbine. To be honest, I like the spray damage of the shotgun, but I like the accuracy of the carbine. And okay, I. Oh, so it's telling me that now. Charge out. Come on, terrible aim. 
All right. I like how he holds that carbine too. Just like, get it, hold it on the side like it's, like it's nothing. All right, so maybe the shotgun would have been nice there. Or I could have used the flare too. Let's get this stuff. Oh good, carbine ammo. Revolver, hell no. Let's head up this way. I can already hear more shadow people just waiting. Oh, here we go. These guys look like ghoulies. What the heck? Oh, they're the uh, separating guys. Okay. Um... Man, where's my... Get out of my face. man all right got him Whew. that was close close one time to make some serious changes I don't know why I could okay so that is it the trigger that throws the no what Okay, that just reloads. Oh, it's Y, okay. Check manuscript. Oh man, it's gonna be more copyright music. That CD in, I bet. So I'll, I'll put that in there last. So place the valve. Where's the engine? Over here somewhere. Place the battery. Oh, the lights were blinking. Okay, yep. Set the oil flow. <clears throat> All right. And now we start the uh the the music.
turn the M off. All right. Are they gonna have like turned her? Okay, that's not a door. The other side. Other side. I'm here. Just keep your head down. Um, wait, no, I didn't. There's more. Oh, man. Yeah, I think I noticed. Oh, God. Whoop. That was close. Can't even talk, I'm so focused. Hyper focused. What the hell was that? Easy. I got him. You're safe. I need you to tell me what you know about him. The guy who looks like Meg. He there was a there was a party in one of the rooms. It, it was pretty wild. I am um, I'm not sure which room it was in. You didn't attend. I no, I wasn't there. But it got way out of hand. Anyway, I I heard that he went to the diner and there was a fight there or something. Maybe you could find out more from there. I, I, I got some keys that you could maybe use. You just happen to have the keys, huh? Fine. I'll take a look. Stay here. Like hell. I'm getting out of here as soon as you leave so I could close up this place and go home. Emma, you really want to stay here in the light. Yeah, thanks for the advice, but I'm not sticking around. Just go already, okay? Are you okay? I guess. Thanks for the help. Were those the... what do you call them? The Taken? What are they? It's complicated. Short version, the darkness can take people over. That's why I had to destroy the oil derrick. Otherwise, they would have overrun the place. Wow, I didn't think you'd actually do it. I mean, I didn't... Because they control the oil? That's crazy. Let me just try one more Kinda time. Kind of weird. risk of sounding like a broken record. It's bad out there. I don't want you hurt. You should stay put. Yeah, while well, you turn this place into an inferno, run around shooting things up and play some kind of weird games with your psycho evil twin. Don't get me wrong. You're, you're nice for a weirdo. I'm impressed as hell by all of this, but enough is enough. I seriously just want to get out of here, okay? Oh, that's nice. At least they made her character kind of believable. I feel like some of those characters, they're just kind of like, in a mist where they're like I, I don't know what's happening it's like silent hill where everybody just acts like everything's fine oh yeah there's monsters all right next objective explore the diner we finally get to go there nice okay let's head there now i didn't i don't find any like Okay, no, I don't. A poltergeist. Its existence. A poltergeist. Is a hostility. And its very presence turns ordinary objects into deadly projectiles. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I do remember these from the original. Did 
gosh. Okay, so yeah, you don't actually have to shoot them. They just explode. It's also machine... No, that's carbine. Give me the carbine. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Give me the carbine. What? I don't remember picking up more ammo, but okay. Into the diner. Thing. The key. Oh, yeah, this takes me back. Nothing to collect. The scene. Traces of violence. A callous midnight snag. A room key left carelessly behind. The man recognizes the enemy's handiwork. I think these are keys for the motel rooms. Satellite and now this? That place might be involved. Hmm. Oh. Explore the motel rooms. Oh, that's not the right way. Right. Back to the motel. Probably going to get ambushed, aren't we? I should heal a little bit. There we go. Emma Sloan was a believer in a great many things, most of which were entirely fallacious. Fallacious. Ah, oh, man. Emma Sloan, an innocent victim of his dark half, more collateral damage in the ongoing war. Damned by forces beyond her control, as much as by her actions. All right, let's do the uh, Ah, oh, come on, man. Couldn't even see ya. Wait, is there more? No, there's not. Okay. Actually, I didn't really lose that much health, which is odd. All right, back on track. I wonder if we're going to have to fight Emma as like a boss now or something. Because she got taken. Okay, this room. Damn. Michael Faraby. Dead. Tortured. Dressed in clothes that bore the name of a local observatory. A slim lead but solid enough. It stirs something deep in his mind. He knows where to go now. Yes, I know exactly where to go. The observatory. The observatory, hot on the heels of the Herald of Darkness. Wait, so the champion of light for I just got super lucky finding the right room right away. All right. Cool. We made it to the observatory. the observatory. A place for a man to witness the magnificence of the universe. 
But such insights are not what the champion of light is looking for. He has a champion of light. A weapon. Wait, where did he get the car? Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to try to make these videos a little bit shorter. Just so I don't know. I've heard some feedback from some people that I talk to daily and they said that my videos might be better if I kept them a little shorter. Uh, let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Do you like the longer video? Let me know. But uh, I'm going to pause it there for now and we'll pick up part two sometime. Maybe I'll upload another one tomorrow or continue one of the other games I'm playing. But uh, until next time, guys and gals and whoever else watches, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment and a like, and I'll see you guys later. In the go.